This is the lesson for Sunday, September the 8th in the year 2024. And it is Christmas part three. Now in Christmas part one, Mary and Joseph and Elizabeth and Zechariah found out they were having a baby. In Christmas part two, the baby Jesus was born and the shepherds came. Lots of times people think that the wise men were there at the same time. But I don't think that scripture says that. We get the wise men story in Matthew instead of in Luke. And in Matthew, it says that there were some wise men, people who studied the stars, and that they saw a star in the sky that was a new star. And they got together and talked about it and said, this must be the star that tells us that the Jewish king is born. So. They said, let's get gifts and take them to him. They had gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Frankincense and myrrh are both very expensive um, perfume kinds of things. One's to anoint a king and one's to bury a body. So they had these three gifts. And we don't know if there was two wise men. They were men, so it couldn't just be one. We don't know if there was two, three, twelve. We don't, we don't really know. It just says the wise men came from the east to worship Jesus. They went, first of all, to Jerusalem because if there was a king, the king would be in Jerusalem because that's where the, the seat of government was. So they went to King Herod. And King Herod said, I don't know anything about a baby king. And so he had the... the priests look it up and they said oh he's gonna be born in Bethlehem it's the Messiah he's gonna be born in Bethlehem he's from the family of David so what they did was the king said King Herod said when you find the baby you tell me and I will come and worship him too and they believed him and they left King Herod and headed off towards Bethlehem, which isn't very far away, maybe a couple miles. And whenever they got close to Bethlehem, there was the star that they had seen in the east. And it was standing over the house, not the stable, the house where Mary and baby Jesus was. So they went into that house and I don't know if they had camels or not. They might have, but they went into the house and they got down on their knees and they worshiped Jesus. And they gave Mary gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh, which would have been expensive gifts and they would have been able to give them money if they sold them to live on. And then that night when it's done, the um, wise men were warned by God to go home a different way, not to go back to Jerusalem because King Herod would want to kill the baby. Just go on home without going back to talk to King Herod. And Joseph had a dream and God talked to him in the dream and said, you've got to get Mary and the baby out of town because Herod's going to come and hurt him. So Joseph got up and took Mary and baby Jesus and they went to Egypt and they stayed in Egypt until King Herod died. God provided for them. And the memory verse was, will be, thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift. Say it with me. Thanks be to God for his unspeakable gift. It's such a huge gift. And the gift was that it gave us Jesus. Now the, the three kings or the three wise men or four wise men or however many were, they thought they were bringing a great gift for this baby when they brought gold and frankincense and myrrh. But the biggest gift of Christmas is not 
what they brought to Jesus. The biggest gift is that God gave us Jesus to die for our sins. Dear Father God, help us to remember what the wise men did, but more than that, what you did when you gave us Jesus to die for us. Help us, O oh Lord, when we get to Christmas this year to really understand what it's all about. In Jesus' name, amen.